Hey, this is Nate. I wanted to put this video together for you, give you a few tips and tricks on outranking your local competition in the Brooklyn, New York area. The three things that I'm going to go over are content, citations, and backlinks. And the general rules of this are pretty much the same anywhere that you're trying to rank online. I'm just using Brooklyn as an example because that's your local area. But I've got this site pulled up here. The three things that we're going to go over are content, citations, and backlinks. You know, scrolling down through the site, the overall layout of the site and everything doesn't look bad, but really the only content they have is right here. We recommend about 1,500 words on this home page and about 500 to 750 words on your back service pages. And the reason for that is we want to fit those keywords and keyword phrases that people are searching on Google organically into the content on your page. It's not the only way to be found for particular keywords, but it is the easiest and fastest way for Google to recognize those keyword phrases and know that your site is relevant to what people are looking for. So here's the other guy that I found. You know, again, not a bad site. It's got a lot of pictures, but he's really got no content on here whatsoever other than this one review that his client left. So these guys would be super easy to beat out in the content game, but that's not the only game we're trying to win. You know, Arifs is one of the paid tools that we have that we can really break these sites down. And this guy's showing up for 71 keywords. This guy's showing up for 251. So I'm going to go back over here because I think it'll be easier to find the type of keywords that we're looking for. But like Car Detailing Brooklyn, it gets searched 200 times a month. This guy's in the sixth position. He's getting about 11 visits a month to his website. You know, Auto Detailing Brooklyn gets searched 70 times a month. He's in the fourth position. He's getting about six visits a month to his website. So here's another one, you know, Car Detailing Brooklyn NY, 30, you know, 30 searches a month, fourth position. He's getting about three visits a month to his site. Those are the type of keywords I like to see. I call them generic keywords. It says what you do and where you do it. If somebody in the Brooklyn area is looking for someone to detail their car and doesn't know what company they're looking for, this is the type of stuff that you're typing in. So think about with just this one keyword being, you know, ranking for that one keyword, you could potentially get an extra 200 people a month seeing your site. Generally, the number one spot on Google is going to get about a third of that traffic. So you're looking at somewhere between 65 and 70 visits a month to your website. How many of those people could you convert into clients? The second thing that I like to go over are your citations. This right here is what we call the Google Map Pack. You can see I searched auto detailing Brooklyn NY. Sometimes there'll be some ads up here, sometimes not, but it goes right into the Map Pack from there. You want to be in one of these three spots. Citations are a big part of getting there. I saw that you do have your Google My Business page set up, which is great. And what a citation is, it's your business name, address, and phone number, exactly the way it's listed on that Google My Business page, put into multiple directories across the internet. There's Yellow Pages, Yelp, Better Business Bureau, Merchant Circle. There's hundreds, if not thousands, of these directories out there. It's just a matter of tracking them down, signing up for them, and getting your information in there. You know, the more of those citations you have, the better chance you have of being up in this top three. Some of the other factors are going to be your star rating, the number of reviews that you have, how many pictures you have on your Google My Business page, and making sure that is 100% filled out properly. We want to beat these guys in every one of those games. The third thing would be your backlinks. Again, back to Arifs, you know, these guys are showing 63 backlinks. These guys are showing 57. But what a backlink is, is any other website that has a link back to yours. So some of your citations would give you backlinks. So say that I found your listing in the yellowpages.com. Anywhere in that listing, if there's some place that I can click and it takes me to your website, that is a backlink. So it's kind of a popularity contest. The more backlinks you have, the more popular Google thinks you are, the more authority they're going to give your page. However, not all backlinks are created equal. So you do want to avoid the spammy type of backlinks. But some of the ways to get backlinks, as I said, some citations will give you backlinks. 
There's blog commenting that you can do. There's guest posting on blogs. There's lots of ways to get backlinks. If you're going to go the blog route, try to keep them either relevant to the auto detailing industry or rel like local blogs that are relevant to where you work because those are going to be the most relevant to your page and pass you the most power and authority. Using this, we can go in here and see where this guy is getting his backlinks from. And we can check the power and the authority on these links, see if they are the type of links that we would like to have on your page. And then from there, we can go in and check these same exact pages and try to get backlinks for you. I call it the copycat method. Find the guy that's winning, copy what they're doing, go out and find some more on our own, beat this guy at his own game. But that is my basic overview for you. Hope that helps you out. If you've got any questions, feel free to reach out. I will talk to you later, and thank you for your time.